Good morning. I'm Mykola Paranyak, trainee in esophageal gastric surgery, Odessa National Medical University, Ukraine. I would like to present our study, the influence of refixation technique on the results of fund application. The laparoscopic fund application is the gold standard for the surgical treatment of GERD. Primary anti-reflux surgery is followed by elimination of GERD symptoms in 85-90% of patients up to five years after surgery. Surgical reintervention is required in nearly 10% of patients at long-term follow-up, mostly because of intrathoracic rep migration, disruption of the rep, sleeping and or telescoping, etc. To decrease the risk of complications, laparoscopic fund application can be supplemented with gastropexy and seems to give better results than laparoscopic fund application alone. The high number of different techniques of rep fixation are proposed, but their expediency still remains unclear. To decrease the failure rate after laparoscopic fund application, surgeons commonly perform different types of rep fixation to the esophagus, unilateral or lateral fixation of the rep to the crura, etc. The aim of our study was to evaluate and compare several techniques of rep fixation and determine whether the application of a combined approach to perform rep fixation reduces the failure rate in short and long-term follow-up. The prospective single-blind randomized control trial was performed in Odessa Regional Hospital from November 2012 to October 2014. 138 patients with sliding or paraesophageal fatal hernia who underwent anti-reflux surgery were enrolled and divided into two groups. In group one, laparoscopic missing fund application was supplemented with suturing rep to the diaphragmatic crura or to the body of stomach, depending on the conditions of the crura, strong or weak. If tightening the knots during the chorography was followed by cutting out the sutures through tissue, provided that the tension at the closure of crura wasn't high, then the crura was considered weak. So in 52 cases, Nissen fund application was supplemented with suturing rep to the diaphragmatic crura on each side using two non-absorbable stitches. And in 35 cases, fund application rep was sutured to the body of stomach using two non-absorbable stitches on each side. And the control group included 51 patients who underwent laparoscopic Nissen fund application without rep fixation. On this slide, we can see the suture between lower edge of the wrap and body of the stomach. Uh, on this slide, we can see the suture between the wrap and crura. All patients were assessed using validated symptoms and quality of life questionnaires, 24 hours impedance patch monitoring, endoscopy, and barium contrast swallow. Follow-up was completed uh, with a mean duration of 41.6 months. There were no significant differences at baseline characteristics between the groups. In the first group of patients, 56% were female, while in the second group, the majority were male. The mean age of patients was similar in both groups and didn't differ significantly before surgery and endoscopic examination was performed for all patients. The signs of reflux esophagitis were detected in more than 80% of cases. During the barium swallow, hiatal hernia was found in 97% of patients in the first group and in each one from the group two. Mean BMI was about normal in both group of patients. There were no conversion to open procedure or mortality into cohorts. Overall, the intraoperative complications rate was 1.45% and included one major intraoperative bleeding and one pneumothorax. A mesh was used in almost 15% of patients of the group one and 10% uh, of patients uh, of group two. Groups of patients didn't differ significantly in terms of the duration of the surgery or the length of hospital stay. 
patients were discharged from the hospital two three days after the surgery. Four weeks after the surgery, either none or mild symptoms of dysphagia were detected in 90% of patients from group one and in 82% of patients from group two. During the first six months after the operation, one patient from group one and two patients from group two underwent esophageal dilatation because of severe dysphagia with inability to eat solid food. During the re-examination of patients at six months, moderate dysphagia was present in four patients from group one and in five patients of the control group. These patients adjusted the diet and didn't receive surgical treatment. In general, mild as well as persistent dysphagia was diagnosed in patients of group two significantly more often in comparison with group one. Red of hand applications uh, were performed in uh, five patients in four cases due to the recurrence of pedal hernia and in one case due to the sleep admission. During the follow-up, three symptomatic recurrences of fatal hernia were detected in group two, and one was detected in group one. Also in four cases, the asymptomatic recurrences, which didn't need any additional treatment, were diagnosed. Three in group one and one in group two. A slipped rep was detected in one case. The regular PPI treatment wasn't required uh, for 91% of patients from group one, whereas it was required only for 71% of patients from group two. 9% of patients in group one and almost 4% in group two reported rare consumption of PPI. According to the data of 24 hours in pronounced splash monitoring, the demister index decreased significantly in patients of both groups at long-term follow-up. Quality of life, according to a JERT quality of life questionnaire, was significantly higher in group one. And in the conclusion, the fixation of the Nissan fund application rep uh, has a positive impact on the reduction of postoperative dysphagia and produces improvement in disease-specific quality of life. Taking into account the conditions of cura in time of choosing a rep fixation technique is advisable for satisfactory results of anti-reflux surgery. Impossibility to perform cural fixation technique can be replaced by fixation of the rep to the body of the stomach as an alternative. Thank you very much for attention.